So I made some bread with my own hands and that bread maker. So why don't I make some breakfast with it? I was thinking about just dumping the nest because the bird would just build a new one. But, nope, tiny little eggs. You see that? Yeah, tiny. Ah. You're in luck, mother bird. I know what you're thinking. I touched the egg so the mother won't be back. But that's a myth that parents tell their kids so that they won't mess with nests. She'll be back.
Everything has conspired against me today. In the, in the early morning and the evening, like right now, the bugs aren't out. They go away. But during the day, they're just bloody awful. So between the bugs and... I don't know. <laughs> Everything else. It's just... I almost said screw it on this video. I'm not going to do it. You know, gave up after taking down my platform up there. But what the hell... You guys to see deserve to see the best and the worst. Anyway, I put up the metal on the on the roof here, and I did a bunch of other work that I didn't do on camera, like these braces. Boy, the comments I got in my last video and people saying, "Oh, you gotta brace that; it's gonna fall down." Kind of missed the point where I said, "Hey, it's half done." You know, I think I built a cabin. I think I know how to brace things. Anyway, she's up there pretty good, and I put the metal on. Although I couldn't find my big box of screws, I may have used them somewhere maybe when i was doing the the porch roof maybe i used those screws but i did find enough to kind of get this up here for now um so we have a little bit of shelter i'd say it looks pretty good it's not as big as i originally had hoped um uh, mostly because i was working with this metal roof and i mean this is all i had and i, I knew it was only going to be so long so here we are looking from the top. I didn't even realize one of those pieces was a different color. I thought, every time I saw that, I thought I was looking at the underside, but no, that's the upside. So yeah, so it looks a little weird. And I had a choice whether to line them up along the top or line them up along the bottom or just kind of center them. So I went with centering because that's the most practical. It covers the most area. I mean, to line them up is mostly for aesthetics reasons. And uh, I gotta go with practical purposes. Hey, anyway, we got lots of firewood sitting here, uh, ready to, to to be cut and stacked. I don't know if this amount will fill this little shelter or not. Uh, it'll go a long ways towards doing it, especially if I bring in the other wood that's around the other side of the wood pile. Let me let me show you. So yeah, oh, it's uncovered here a little bit. You can kind of see, you know, oh, not much left of the wood pile, but will definitely take it over there to be with the other stuff. Well, or maybe I'll just leave it here, I don't know. Some folks have asked, you know, why why the wood fire shelter? Why not just tarp it? Well, it's a pain in the ass dealing with this tarp. Like every single time I need firewood to come out here, out here and try to deal with it, push it out of the way. And this thing is heavy, man. Especially when it gets a little snow on it. Boy. So I'm like, well, dealing with it every day during the winter time. I think I can spend a few days building a wood, a firewood shelter, uh, so I don't have to deal with that tarp every day. Uh, so I actually need a couple more pieces of metal on there. I used what I had. I'm wondering if I can call them up and just say, hey, do you have any scrap metal? That, that metal is what comes, like if you order metal for your roof, it comes with scrap pieces on, on the top and on the bottom to, to help protect it. So that's where that came from in the first place. I'm thinking they must have more. I just need like, I don't know, three sheets. They're about three feet wide. Uh, seven kilowatt hours today. You see that? Seven kilowatt hours, we're in float mode. That's a lot of kilowatt hours. Uh, and rain, yeah. Uh. 